It is my absolute pleasure to, to introduce you to a great colleague, friend, Per Stigson today. Per and I have known each other for, I think, at least six years or maybe even a little bit longer. He's been an enormous help to me when I was running Exaptic, and he is just a super nice guy to know in the industry. So Per, welcome, and thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. We've spoken about it a few times and you've ducked and dived and I've decided now this is the end of it. You have to be on because you've actually joined our network as well as a member. So um, I thank you very much for your support and to all companies out there thinking whether you should support us or not, uh, you definitely should. But tell us a little bit, you came here from Sweden and um, you're the owner and founder of Robot Space. So tell us a little bit about your journey and how you ended up there. <laughs> I started 1981, and that was ASEA at the time, Swedish company who made their first electrical microprocessor controlled robot, industrial robot, I should mention. And they made that 1974, and I started 81. So it had been a few years, but... Uh, I think 82 is when it took off a lot more in around the world. But anyway, yeah, I worked there for a few years with testing and I ended up in the training center, came to Australia 88 and pretty much worked for AVB, building up their training facility. And yeah, there was a lot of robotics happening in Australia at the time. Ford was investing heavily, and that was one of the reasons I managed to get to a warmer country. I had worked with robots all my life, and there must be something else to do. So I left for a little bit of traveling and so on. And yeah, then I came back and started Robot Space. So in essence, um, Robot Space is literally what it says. You've got spare for robots, but you've also got another aspect to your business where you actually hire out robots for people to try. Tell us a little bit about that component of the business. Yeah, so I mean, we do pretty much anything that people ask us to do. We do programming, we do support, we do breakdown service. And a robot as a service is something that yeah, is starting to be a buzzword around the world as well. And we came across a lot of small companies who just can't afford the whole shebang, the robots, the safety, the tooling, jigs. So we said, hey, we can help you out. You can rent a used robot a lot cheaper, and then you can spend the money on the jigs and fixtures or tooling or whatever. And that's how it started. So we've now got a couple of robots. I mean, it's not exploding, but we have a couple of robots out amongst customers who think it's a great idea. They just pay a monthly fee and we look after the robot. It could also be that customers want to do a trial or a, just a proof of concept. Then they could use a robot. We have one guy who's actually been in our own factory and done some trials and tests and so on. So again, saving a lot of money. Didn't have to buy a robot at all. We, we traded actually for a little bit of labor. So he helped us with a few things and then he could use the robot. So that was working fine. So where are you based, Per? Yeah, we're in Melbourne. We're actually in uh, Noble Park. But again, we have a network of people in every state pretty much. And we can draw on them if people need support or if they just want to. I mean, they could just ring us up on the phone. And again, we're selling parts and we're selling robots all over Australia. Having said that, your, your luxury, if we could call it this at this stage of your life after working so hard, is that you've got a fantastic backup staff. So... Do you want to do a bit of an introduction who they are? Yeah, well, Mick, my son, started with me about six years ago. And again, he got no background in engineering or anything like that, but he's a very quick learner and he's spent a lot of time with me now. So he's very good at what he does and support people. I've had a lot of good feedback from customers from him or about him. And Gail has worked with us as well. I, don't know exactly, but uh, probably four or five years, four years at least, and started off helping out with the website. And now she's working part time, helping out with admin. She was actually a robot engineer when I came to Australia in 1988. So she's got a lot of experience and she knows spare parts and robots and she knows a lot of the customers as well. So what what's been your biggest challenge as a I'd say a small to medium enterprise 
it's just so you know as well and every small business owner <laughs> knows it's like a myriad of things like money cash flow getting yeah setting up just talking to the bigger customers is a nightmare now everyone have their own systems it takes a long time so if you're a small company you spend an awful lot of time just getting set up and being complying with certain systems and yeah it is just a nightmare <laughs> so if they're one man band it's extremely hard with three of us at least we can share and help each other and so yeah I, I wonder whether there's an opportunity for a couple of small businesses such as yourself to come together and actually pool your staff so you have mm. a roving staff member that once they've done work for you and you go into a bit of a slump, then they go to the next company and you can actually, because you sort of know how things are going to work anyway in your business, but you can see, okay, we're going into a bit of a quiet period now and have yeah. it as a shared resource. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, we do have a lot of people to pull in if we need to. The thing is that they are working on their own as well and they're basically yeah. contractors. So they have their own agendas and things. It's not like you have someone all the time available. I saw, um, for those of you who haven't linked up with Per on LinkedIn, do so now. And RoboSpecs has got its own page as well. So do um, follow them. I saw your post about part numbers and why serial numbers and RoboType aren't enough. Tell us more. Oh, God, it's starting to be very complicated. <laughs> I mean, the robots have been around <laughs> since 81, as I said. I mean, yeah. they're still robots. And I'm talking general ABB robots now that are from 1994 still in operation. And I mean, that's over 20 years and the spare parts have changed a lot. Robots have changed. The design have changed. So there's a myriad of spare parts on the latest robots now, the different colors even. So you you have white robots in food industry very often and you have orange or used to have orange robots in the general industry and then ABB came out with this graphite colored robots recently so you basically could have three different part numbers because of the color and it's starting to be very hard to keep track of so I know ABB have a very good system, but if you're not working for ABB, it's very hard to locate the exact right part number unless the customer can give it to us from the part or even the manuals are not really up to date with everything. I mentioned earlier that you've become a member of the Robotics Australia Group Network. Thank you very much for supporting us. Per, I'm mindful of your time. You're a busy man. Have you got any closing thoughts that you'd like to leave our audience with? I think Australia and the world, it's just taken off. There's so many things. I mean, whatever you're interested in, it will have automation, some kind of robotic stuff. And as I said, it's mechanical, electrical, electronics. It's just a lot of interesting things. So, yeah, it's hard to pinpoint some specifics. And it's a lot of very cluey people. I, I think it's just fascinating to see what people can come up with and what they do. Per, thank you so much for your time. To my audience, if you need to reach out to Per, he's on LinkedIn. Um, he'll answer any questions. Um, what's your email address, Per? Yeah, the best one would be sales at robotspares.com.au. And you can find that on the website, which is normally pretty easy. Robotspares. And if you Google Robotspares, you normally come straight on our website. Excellent. You yeah. have an invitation, reach out to him, connect with him, um, yeah. have discussions and see where it lands. Fantastic. Per, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. As I said, this is long overdue. I've been hassling you a few years to get on the <laughs> podcast. So yeah. It's taken you to become a member of the network to force you to do it. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, yeah. If anyone needs any robot support help, let me know. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Nikki. Oh, it's a great pleasure. And to our audience, thank you for joining us again today. I look forward to your company again next time. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you're well and look after yourself.